Hiccups is when, uh, what happens when crazy meets incompetence? That's kind of what it's about. Hiccups is uh, comedy, and Hiccups is uh, based around a character called Millie Upton, played by Nancy Robertson. Hiccups is about, uh, well, it's about a group of people, but they all know each other uh, via my character, Millie. She's a children's author who um, has some uh, issues with her self-control. Can you not see where the parking meter is? You're taking up two spots with your one car. Ma'am, we're not parked. We're in the middle of an arrest. So you can't scooch up two feet. Well, she wears everything on her sleeve. Whatever emotion it is, it's right out there for the world to deal with. Millie Upton, she's kind of nuts and she seeks guidance from a guy who doesn't know what he's doing. So it's, uh, you know, it's kind of the blind leading the blind. No, no way. Oh, come on. No, I am drawing a line in the sand. Look, it's actual sand. That makes it official. That's not official. Stamp, stamp. Magic lamp. No erases. Oh, that's official. Stan is a guy with a big heart who really, really, truly wants to help people and he really believes that he can help people. He just doesn't, you know, he doesn't have a lot of solid ideas when it comes to, I think Stan has a hard time, I, I, I say that Stan has intellectual depth perception. She's not really too aware or focused on the fact that he's not trained. So because he's not trained, he has interesting ways of dealing with her hiccups. I'm sorry, Millie, I can't help but think this is my fault. I can't help thinking the same thing. Stan is crazy in love with Anna, and Anna is crazy in love with Stan. Not sure why, but she is. He's a, he's a big, lovable bear, and he takes care of her, and, and she can take care of him, and I think for Anna it's important to, to take care of him, you know, to be useful to him. And, and I, I actually think they just have lots of fun. I think they have like a very shared sense of humor. They like being together. How about pork chops for dinner? Yay. Great, but don't overcook them. I'll be home around six. Boo. I play Joyce Haddison, who is the publisher of all of Millie's books. I run a huge publishing house, very successful woman. She's the boss. She wants to fit in but they really don't let me fit in because I'm the boss and I'm quite uh, uptight. So they often make fun of me and I'm, sometimes I'm the brunt of the jokes. This woman wrote a book about homemade skincare products. I can't tell if she's a genius or an idiot. Idiot. You can make your own shoes out of Kleenex boxes. Doesn't mean you should. You know, this could be a big seller if there's any merit to it, but we'd have to test it out first. Hey, maybe you guys could I play Taylor Rimes, who's a literary agent to uh, Nancy's character, to Millie. Um, Millie's his only client that he inherited when her last agent at his same agency died. He's sort of uh, inept, he's not really good at it, he's sort of slick and he's smooth, but he doesn't know the ins and outs of, of this business or any business, really. Um, and he just tries to, to, to make his way through as best he can, like fumbling, failing upwards, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, he's an upwards failure. Well, she's French. She kisses everybody. Does she ask everybody out on a second date? Her treat? Sounds to me like someone's begging to be tailorized. I know this is an unreasonable request, but don't do anything stupid. I'm telling you, lady's got a bad case of the tailors. Well, I bet there's a shot for that. Crystal is a receptionist at Haddison House Publishing Office, and um, she works for Joyce Haddison. And she's kind of a spoiled rich girl, but her dad's kind of forced her to go out into the big world and get a job. So I was pregnant at the beginning of, the, of season two, and as a result, uh, Crystal, my character, becomes pregnant as well. So she's pregnant, but she's in denial that she's pregnant. You're not pregnant? No, I just put on a bit around the middle. Too much ice cream. She's happy. They keep, there's a lot of talk about, you know, her bursting out with anger, but her anger is only because somebody has ruined her good mood. You know, she starts every day happy. She's like, she's wide-eyed like a kid. She's still full of wonder. Uh, you know, a middle-aged woman's still full of wonder. You know, there's nothing bitter about her. There's nothing jaded. She's just happy. And when she has her outburst, it's because, well, you know, that jerk went and ruined this really good day or good moment. And then she deals with it. On she goes. So she's, you know, I, I envy that about her. I don't wake up full of joy and wonder every day, but she does. 
Everybody needs a shot of Millie. <laughs>